from Samsung, please welcome Jong Yul Lee. Hello, good morning. My name is Jong Yul Lee. I'm an executive vice president of Samsung Electronics. Last year, I was looking forward to meeting you here in OCP Global Summit. But unfortunately, because of the pandemic, I couldn't do that. So I am really happy to meet all of you in person and virtually today. How many of you know about Samsung's open source activities? Probably not many. That's why I am here to share our effort and achievement in open innovation. Let's get started with Samsung open source journey. Samsung open source journey started from 2017 with F2FS. F2FS is a file system to be optimized for the NAND flash. Currently, F2FS is widely used in smartphones. F2FS was followed by Multistream, OpenMPDK, and Mission Peak. In terms of participation to OCP, we became the community member in 2015. We upgraded our membership to silver and gold in 2019 and 2020, respectively. This year, we the industry leaders, we kicked off Future Technology Initiative. We made the first contribution to OCP in 2019 with Mission P. Finally, last year, we announced Project Poseidon version one in OCP Virtual Summit. Let me recap Project Poseidon a little bit. Project Poseidon is an open source project to develop server reference and storage OS. Why did we name it in Poseidon? Poseidon is a god of sea. We want to invite all the devices into one sea. Technically, Poseidon is an MVM of a fabric, high performance storage reference platform. We can achieve high performance by aggregating a bunch of SSD. Actually, this project is not made by Samsung alone. This is a multi-industry collaboration. We work together with our partners, Inspire and Neighbor Cloud. Inspire is a Chinese server vendor. They are responsible for developing and manufacturing server hardware. Samsung took the role of developing storage OS. After we integrate this hardware and software, it is provided to neighbor cloud. Neighbor runs some tests. They will deploy this system on actual service. More importantly, this project is more valuable because it is contributed as an open source. Since we announced this project last year, we came a long way to achieve our goal. During this time, we completed the development of hardware and software. The server hardware started to be manufactured from this year March and also it is on the contribution to OCP. In terms of software, we released the first version of Poseidon OS to GitHub this year, April. We are making a regular update every quarter. As I already mentioned before, now it is being tested in neighbor cloud. We receive a very positive feedback from neighbor. Also, we are able to confirm we could achieve our target performance in local and network environment. 
we are looking forward to deploying them on actual service quite soon. As I already mentioned before, this project is not made by Samsung alone. We could not have succeeded without the help of our partner, Inspo and Neighbor Cloud. With that, I'd like to invite Alan Chang, Vice President of Inspo. He sent us a video to say the meaning and progress of Poseidon project. Let's take a look. Thanks, Zhang Yeo. Hello, my name is Alan, Alan Chen, VP of Technical Operation at Inspur. At the time of the corroboration back in 2019, Samsung and Inspur struggled to find an efficient design for high-performance, high-density storage system for our customers. Samsung proposed to have an open storage system that is optimized for MVME over fabric and also incubate OCP community with the knowledge of the new SSD E1.S form factor. Inspire at the time was working on general purpose enterprise server spec that aimed to maximize the OCP adoption in EIA 19 inch. Eventually, we were able to make GP and Poseidon to share about 80% of the same building blocks, modules that is in the system. For Poseidon V1, we already seen some customer who use GP server at their compute and is able to transition to adapt Poseidon very smoothly as their new tier of the storage. It's a win-win situation for our customer because modular design to help reduce redundant effort on engineering and validation effort across the board. We believe E1.S bring revolutionized use case for our customer, and I'm super excited about what the new V2 spec will bring the new use case for our customer. Now back to you, Jung Yong. Thank you a lot. Uh, let me talk about some system trend in data center. The evolution of technology and its speed are eye-catching in the field of data center. Especially, the high-speed interface of PCIe is changing quite rapidly. As you can see, it took seven years to upgrade from PCIe Gen 3 to PCIe Gen 4. However, it took just three years from Gen 4 to Gen 5. To follow up such speed, other composing parts need to be changed as well. One of the examples is a form factor. Up until now, as a SSD form factor, we used M.2 and U.2. But to support PCI Gen 5, EDSFF form factor will be the best fit. Also, some new standards are being emerged in memory and storage area. Let me bring two examples, such as CXL and computational storage. CXL is an interface defined by Intel. CXL can be used as a memory interface as well as storage interface. In terms of computational storage, SNIA is a main standard body to define the spec. Samsung also launched the first version of Smart SSD last year, and we are developing the second version of Smart SSD now. Under this paradigm shift, we have initiated a new reference platform, Project Poseidon version 2. So I am really excited to announce Project Poseidon version 2 today. Poseidon version 2 is a new reference platform to use PCI Gen 5 and E3 form factor. Compared to version 1, using PCI Gen 4 and E1.S form factor, it can achieve higher performance, it can accommodate more density. Also, to fully support E3 form factor, we provide two types of backplane on the same server. We can plug in E3 thin and thick into type 1 and type 2, respectively. Let's take a closer look at what is inside Poseidon version 2. 
it consists of not only up-to-date technology like uh, DDR5 and CXL, but also open source technologies. The green colored devices are compatible to OCP spec. These days, OCP started to release SSD spec, including boot drive. Samsung also applies those spec when we develop a, when we develop a new SSD product. We added a bit of innovation by adopting OCP NIC and DCSCM developed by OCP. We designed our hardware and software to support various kinds of devices. It means that we can build composable architecture by mixing and matching those devices depending on the use case. Let me talk about three examples. If you want to process an explosive amount of data, you can build high-performance shared storage by installing 24 units of E3 SSD. If you are a user who is hungry for DRAM capacity, then you can make high memory server based on the CXL memory expander. Or if you really want to run AI and ML application, you can make accelerator server by using smart SSD. This composable architecture can be possible because of a variety of Samsung memory and storage product. In this slide, let me give a brief introduction of Samsung product. Looking at this picture, Samsung covers most of the memory and storage product from SSD to DRAM. Having a look at the SSD lineup, you can take GNS and QLC SSD for high capacity application, or you can choose Z SSD for low latency application. Especially in this year, Samsung is going to launch the first PCI Gen 5 SSD. When it comes to high bandwidth and high capacity memory, CXL Memory Expander and DDR5 can be the answer. So again, I would like to say Samsung has a whole lineup of memory and storage product that is bespoke to our client need. As much as we are developing hardware, also we are upgrading our software. Our ultimate goal is to provide end-to-end -end comprehensive solution to encompass from SSD to application. Also, our composable architecture can be enabled through our continuous effort for this software. Let's take a closer look at what is inside Poseidon OS. Obviously, it provides storage function. We can provide efficient and useful storage functions like volume management, performance throttling, and provisioning. Also, we maintain data center level robustness to recover and protect the system and data from a single SSD or network failure, we implement software RAID and multipass connection. We are planning to support two node HA quite soon to protect the system from a system failure. The third one is performance optimization. As you might be aware, Samsung is one of the best company to handle NAND flash and SSD. We melted our knowledge and technology into this system to maximize the performance. Last but not least, I don't want to miss manageability. 
We want to encourage more engineers to participate in this project. They can implement their own function by, by using these manageability features. This one is our overall roadmap for Poseidon V2. We will go on mass production next year, third quarter. After that, same as the first version, we will make the second contribution to OCP next year, fourth quarter. Finally, we will deploy this system in data center in 2023. If you want to understand and experience more about the Samsung solution, feel free to visit Boost B14. You can see and experience Poseidon V1 and V2, CXL memory expander, and also other Samsung devices. Starting from Expo Talk, we will give several talks in executive talk and engineering workshop. You are more than welcome to join us. I want to close my keynote by congratulating OCP for its 10th anniversary. OCP has proven that open source technology is not just the interest of some people, but it can help our industry grow together. Samsung sends the biggest thanks and respect to all the participants in OCP. Thank you very much. <laughs>